I'm Shara Penny and welcome to Kennedy's News Micro. Firefighters work to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. It's always good to shine a light on healthcare workers working in the front line. Here's more. Meet Weeva Penny, a longtime licensed vocational nurse working during the pandemic and at the same time a student studying to get her master's. Being a nurse, um, I cherish life and I believe life is very important and it's good to give back. It's very important to care for people, mostly those that are vulnerable, those that can't help themselves. Like, I mean, geriatric, psychiatric. They need me. I know they need me. So coming back home and knowing that I've done my best for the day keeps me going. Rita, who is also going back to school, studying to get her master's in medical social work, wants people to know that time management will help you succeed. You should know what you need. You need to plan out your time. It's called good time management will help you to navigate through your school and your work, know when to read, you know, keep to your time management. You'll be able to accomplish anything. At the end of the day, she's happy to be a mom of four, continue her education, and to be able to save lives every day. For Kenya News, I'm Charlotte Penny. A former congresswoman is the victim of a hacking incident. Former Congresswoman Katie Hill announced yesterday on Twitter that someone hacked her former official government account. Hill's tweets about the deactivated account came after it was reported that actress Elizabeth Moss would be starring in a film adaptation of Hill's memoir, which kickstarted off the backlash in social media. Yesterday, a person claiming to be on Hill's former staff took over Hill's Twitter account to express disappointment towards the people responsible for bringing Hill's biopic to life. The anonymous hacker also sounded off on how Hill was not only a victim of abuse, but also a perpetrator of it. The hacker said, quote, What happened to Katie Hill shouldn't happen to anyone, but this moment requires more nuance as Katie Hill's story, our story, is also one of workplace abuse and harassment. Hill's official government account has been inactive since she resigned from office last year, following allegations she maintained an appropriate relationship with an staffer. Hill says she has talked about the scandal in her book, in podcasts, and numerous interviews since resigning from Congress nearly a year ago. For Canon's News, I am Malcolm Dos Santos. As the fires continue, SUV sheriffs announce a new investigation. I'm Cooper Ignatian with Canyons News. We all know that fire season is among us, but not all fires are created by nature. Last Friday, October 2nd, in New Hall near Railroad Avenue, a small brush fire was started. It quickly grew to be two acres large at its peak. Soon after, the SUV Sheriff Station announced that they were starting an arson investigation. On October 5th, officers recognized the suspect and arrested her with charges for arson. The suspect is Maria Herrera a 28-year-old. She's being held at the sheriff's station for suspicion of arson and has a bail set of $100,000. No one was injured and no buildings were damaged during the fire. Cooper Ignatian, Canyons News. Sports like tennis continue to rise during the pandemic. Here's Diego with more. As the world takes a pause from normal life, sports are making a strong comeback. In Santa Clarita, tennis is one of the many sports that continues to thrive on. As a coach, Ernie Stone describes the sport as an accommodation for many of today's challenges. You spend a lot of time on court. Tennis is a game where I'm all by myself, which I really like. Um, and I think, especially for people with like antisocial personalities, tennis is actually a really, really good sport to play. During a game, players are already spread out well beyond six feet, making tennis a safe game to play outdoors. But along with being safe, the sport has also seen a growth in popularity compared to other sports. Actually, the players are probably playing way better because like literally they're like on the court, there's no crowd. So you're watching the best level tennis and there's no other sports to watch right now. So I feel like from a pure like what's going to be on TV, what's going to be entertaining, like I think a lot more people know who like Djokovic is now than did like four months ago. And I, I, I'm glad that's happening. With many parks now open, tennis courts at the Y and other homeowners association properties regularly see many tennis players daily that escape to the outdoors. Even during the pandemic, nothing can stop aspiring tennis players from achieving their goals. Another, but it doesn't really matter what sport you're playing. As long as you like try to be better every day, 
better than like the last one, then you get better. So I think that's something that you should be applying for sure in COVID because what else do you have to do? For Canyons News, I'm Diego Serrano. And that's it for this news micro. For Canyon News, I'm Sharp Penny.